Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to use carrier beads. These are check glass two hole beads and there's a lot of great things you can do with them, especially making peyote stitch bands around them. They're so much fun so let's dive into some jewelry inspiration for using carrier beads in your projects. Carrier beads are check glass two hole beads and they have this wonderful rectangular shape almost like a pillow where the edges are slightly rounded and tapered. You can see from the side it looks like kind of like a marquee shape or a tapered oval. Um, so it makes it great for creating peyote stitch strips that you can stitch around each bead um, with 11 knot seed beads, especially cylinder seed beads like Delica's, Treasure's, Ico's. They work really well for stitching around uh, these carrier beads. And they are two holes, so you have a lot of design options with them. And they come in two sizes. This is the smaller carrier bead, and we also have the large carrier bead. And you can use those um, either apart or together in designs. This little bracelet features two small plain carrier beads on the side and a larger carrier bead with a peyote stitch uh, band stitched around it. For the smaller carrier beads, the peyote stitch band that you're going to create to cover it, it's an even count peyote stitch band that is six beads wide so there's six beads across to cover the surface of the carrier bead and the peyote stitch band is typically 23 to 24 seed beads long so if you're counting these seed beads on the edges there's going to be 24 of them and then you zip the ends of your peyote stitch band together to close over the carrier bead. So for the smaller carrier beads, your band is going to be six beads wide and 24 beads long. Now that's not rows, that's just how long the band is when you're counting the beads on the side. Um, the larger carrier beads are going to have a little bit of a different number. For the large carrier beads, your even count peyote stitch band using 11 knot cylinders will be eight beads wide and 28 beads long. So if you're counting the beads on the edge of your band, it's going to be 28 beads long, eight beads across for larger carrier beads. Now that number is with 11 knot cylinder seed beads, which is what we typically stitch with here. I would recommend cylinder beads over round because I think they have um, a closer profile when stitched around something like this carrier bead because the, the round seed beads are just a little more rounded around the edges. They're going to stick up more, I think. So I think the cylinder beads are really the way to go when stitching around your carrier beads. With carrier beads, you can also slide two carrier beads together and make a larger peyote stitch band um, to cover both of the carrier beads at once. So for that, you would just double the number of beads used for one carrier bead. So this is two carrier beads underneath this band, so it is 12 beads wide because this is the smaller carrier bead. So a normal small carrier bead would be six beads across, so this one, double one is 12 beads across. The length is the same because you're working with the same length on both carrier beads. Of course, you can also leave them without a peyote stitch band on them. They look really beautiful just on their own, and they come in a variety of colors and finishes. So you can decorate some, one, all, none. Uh, they're really versatile beads and really open up your creativity. You'll also want to keep in mind when making peyote stitch bands, they can slide, and if you don't have the correct beads in place, you might not want that to happen. It could fall off your project. Some people like to glue them in place. You could experiment with stitching it in place. Glue is probably your best bet. What I like to do, I want my uh, peyote stitch designs to be slidable in some cases because I like to put different designs on each side. So all you have to do here is make sure you're using big enough beads on the sides to keep the peyote stitch bands in place. 
um, and then they can slide, but they're not going to slide off of your carrier beads. So cute. I've done that here with my Christmas countdown bracelet designs. I did the 12 days of Christmas in peyote stitch bands. I put the number um, on one side and then you can slide it to reveal um, partridge in a pear tree for number one, two, two turtle doves for number two, like the 12 days of Christmas song. So I've made this a bracelet with the smaller carrier beads. And then I also made a necklace with the larger carrier beads. And that gave me a little more room to design with. So the designs are a little more intricate. I've got the one and then you can slide it and partridge in a pear tree, two turtle doves, three French hens. So you can kind of treat this design like an advent calendar, which is really fun. Um, it's just a fun little design to come up with with your carrier beads. That's a nice little intro on how to use carrier beads. Um, all of these pieces are available in our design studio with instructions. We've got nice text instructions, PDF diagrams, and tutorials for how to do these peyote stitch bands and uh, complete supplies lists for everything you see here today. I've added those links in the video description. They're all available at artbeads.com. So make sure to head over there to learn how to make these pieces and shop all of the beautiful colors and sizes of our check glass carrier beads. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope those carrier beads inspired you in your next jewelry making projects. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. There's links in the video description for everything that you saw here today. Happy shopping with those. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so you're the first to be notified when videos like this are out on our channel. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.